Separating mixtures involves physical means or physical changes. In other words, there are no chemical reactions needed when we separate a mixture because the substances are not bonded to each other. There are several ways to separate mixtures and we'll list a few of them. We can simply sort them by any number of properties, color, shape, texture, and so on. You could imagine us sorting these blocks according to a given property. Filtration relies on differences in particle size. If we have a mixture and we run it through a filter, if we choose the size of the filter properly, the smaller particles will travel through the filter and the larger ones will be left behind and we will have thus separated that mixture. This is a good time for this vocabulary word, filtrate. The filtrate is the portion of a mixture that passes through a filter. So let's say we have a mixture of salt water and sand. In this salt water mix we've got sand in there and we want to separate first of all the sand from the salt water. Sand won't dissolve in water so if we pour that mixture through a filter the sand can be trapped by the filter. The salt water will go through. The salt water would be considered the filtrate, the portion of the mixture that passes through a filter. Perhaps we can use a magnet in separating a mixture. Now for that to be effective one of the substances and not the other is probably going to have to contain iron. Chromatography is another way we could separate a mixture. Chromatography is based on the idea that some substances dissolve more easily than others in a given medium. Before we talk more about chromatography here's another good vocabulary term that you should probably know. Analyte. An analyte is any substance that you are investigating. It's a fancy term for what we're studying or what we're trying to find the mass of or what we're trying to find the percentage of mass of a certain mixture. An analyte is a general term for any substance that we're investigating. In paper chromatography you can see here uh, the picture on the right we've got overhead marker ink that we are separating into its various colors. In other words black overhead marker ink is a mixture of and it's a little hard to see here but there's definitely some yellow in there looks like some red and looks like some blue. Another type of chromatography is column chromatography and in this case we have a long tube. Let's simplify it to just simply be a, this nice vertical column here with an opening at the bottom and there's some sort of medium in here represented by the dots and this purple represents the mixture of red and blue that we want to separate. Over time, this mixture that we put in the top will, because of gravity, start to descend. And it turns out that the components of the mixture have different affinities for the substance in this column. The red travels faster than the blue. So as time goes on, the red starts to separate itself from the blue. And if we're very clever, we can catch the red and then if we want to we can catch the blue and we have now separated those through this idea of column chromatography. Eluent is the solvent in chromatography so that's another key vocabulary term that if you're taking AP chemistry you really need to memorize. The eluent is the solvent that's used that is flowing through this column that allows us to separate mixture. We could also separate mixtures because components have different densities. Maybe we'll use a centrifuge. If you've ever given blood, they can separate the blood plasma from the red blood cells via a centrifuge. Blood turns out to be a mixture. We could also separate mixtures by decanting and that means to pour off the liquid. I gave an earlier example of salt water mixed with sand and if we can imagine the sand tends to sit at the bottom 
of the beaker and we can separate most of the salt water from most of the sand by simply very carefully pouring off the salt water and then when the sand is just about ready to sneak out of there we tip the cup back up and don't let it out so decant is a fancy term for pouring off the liquid a separatory funnel is based on density you can see in this picture on the right you can see that the greenish liquid is more dense the yellowish liquid is not as dense and what we do down here is we turn this stopcock and the green liquid starts to run out green liquid starts to run out and when the green liquid has pretty much all run out and the yellow is just going to try to escape then whoop, we turn that stopcock and prevent the yellow from getting out thus we've separated the green from the yellow distillation is a method of separating a mixture that's based on the different boiling points of the substances that is the different vapor pressures that the substances have so here's a picture of a distillation setup right here in this flask we have the mixture one of which will boil off at a lower temperature than the other one so the one that boils off at a lower temperature will turn into a vapor and fills the upper part of this flask and travels up here and down through this tube well when it gets to this portion of the apparatus we have surrounded okay this is in three dimensions we've surrounded this part of the tube with water which cools this vapor causing it to condense and then we catch the more volatile substance over here on the left of course you have to monitor this you can't simply set it up and come back the next morning because what will have happened is all of this mixture will have ended up down here so you have to stop it at the right time when almost all of the more volatile substance has been captured in here then we remove the heat and stop and that will have successfully then separated the more from the less volatile substance here vocabulary term for those of you who are AP chemistry students the distillate is the more volatile substance or distillate I've heard it pronounced both ways final thoughts on separating mixtures one no chemical reactions are necessary to separate the components of any mixture because by definition a mixture consists of various components that are not chemically bonded to each other thus all mixtures are separated by physical means not chemical means two various methods to separate the components of a mixture are filtration magnetism paper and column chromatography density and distillation